Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. Today we're taking a look at Hot Toys 1-6 scale Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Hulk. And it's humongous. Yeah, he's a big boy. Uh, Let's talk about this humongous box first. I was just going to say, <laughs> uh, the box is really cool. I mean, the... Um, it's the size of a fridge box. <laughs> <laughs> and the shipper box is bigger than that. Um... The box is really cool just because, like, the other Hulks that they've made so far are either just purple and green. Like, that's it. Mm. I think the uh, regular Avengers was just, like, a purple hue. And then the Age of Ultron was just green on green with, like, a transparent Hulk head floating in on it. Uh, this one, they kind of followed, like, the Thor Ragnarok color scheme. Um, there's, like, the big ridiculous uh <clears throat> big ridiculous you know shiny hulk lettering right here plus the artwork of the character the ragnarok logo uh the back of it's just got credits plenty of room for credits because the back of the box is enormous yeah. also uh what did the inside of the box look like inside of the box is just typical hot toys cradle <laughs> you could literally like you could literally uh have a baby at the hospital and bring it home. Um, <laughs> seal it in. Yeah. This is... I just... <laughs> when I picked up this box, the, the shipper box actually has a plastic handle on the outside of it for you to carry like a suitcase. It's uh, it's awesome. Um, otherwise, I mean, this figure... <laughs> he looks awesome. I'm happy that they went with a darker tone of green than they did with... Age of Ultron. In Age of Ultron, he's like a really bright green. Mm -hmm. And in this, he's got like the darker tone, which I like more. Uh, the detail on him is great. His weapons are great, heavy duty. I don't know if you want to take a look at him. Surprise, I guess. If these were metal, the size they are, it'd probably like slowly like lean out of his hand. Especially yeah, if probably like rip his arms hands. Off. Yeah. Um, so, like, these, these are just plastic, but yeah. still like heavy duty plastic. Yeah. Um, all of his clothing and stuff it's none of it's soft goods because i i think it would have just been too impractical for them to try to make like weird leather buckles and straps so it's like a molded soft plastic mm -hmm. uh it works really well it doesn't really restrict him at all uh, especially because it's the incredible hulk and he's not crazy pulled he kind of hunches down <laughs> screams and yells and punches stuff uh he's got his little sandals on um the what i like is nothing is molded onto him specifically. Everything is like over him and overlaps the body to give it yeah. even more texture. Yeah, so all the armor is like layered on him. <clears throat> yep. It's not like a piece of the original mold. Yeah. Looks uh, like, are the sandals, okay, they're connected in the back. Yeah, they're connected in the back. Not in the front. But so not in the front, so you do have mobility in the ankle. Ankle articulation. Um, plus, look at this. Sweet, sweet Woo. helmet with real Horse hair? No, it's not. <laughs> um, I don't even know if they have horse hair on Grandmaster's... Uh, Better Ray Bill's hair. <laughs> Better Ray Bill's hair. <clears throat> um, if you guys saw our previous review where we talked about Thor Ragnarok. Thor? Gladiator Thor. Uh, if you haven't seen it, make sure to check that one out. We have that posted as well. The way that the helmet works is really similar to that. Hulk comes with a toupee with a magnet. <laughs> And you can just pull this up. Now you got Android Hulk with a magnet there. These magnets are really heavy duty also. They're uh, they're not going anywhere. I mean, you literally <laughs> just drop it right on that sucker. He's not going nowhere. And then you got... This guy's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, I think it said the parcel weight for the box is... I think it said 10 pounds. Nope. So I'm mean, like, I, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a baby, heavy duty figure. Um, so you get this head sculpt with it, where he's just kind of doing like the classic Hulk grimace, angry face, and then you also get angry Hulk, screaming, angrier Hulk. Yeah, really <laughs> mad Hulk. Um, both of which have removable hair pieces and the rolling pins for the eyes, so you can pose them how you want. You can move the eyes and shift them, um, and then same thing. This one's just held on by magnets. And the back of this, you can't put the helmet on this head sculpt unless you take that off. And then you have to put the back of 
this one on. This just has like another magnet that kind of attaches to it. And I think it's, I, th I think they solely made this piece for, <laughs> well, the top of this or whatever. But what I think is funny, what I think is funny is that they took the time to mold extra hair back here. So in the side of the helmet that you might see a little tiny spot, it's not smooth. You get You'll see the molded hair. In there. <laughs> this is funny to me. They took the time to mold that on the back of this little rounded piece of plastic. <laughs> um, it's those details. It's those hot toy details. Yep, hot toy details. Uh, the one thing that I noticed that I have a little bit of trouble with in this figure is his hands. I mean, they're standard hot toy hands. They've got the um, the pegs. Really big pegs. Giant I mean, they're, pegs. they're like dowels almost. Yeah. Um, but the wrist gauntlets restrict you a little bit. So when you're trying to put it on, you kind of have to like slide these up as far as you can yeah. to like push the hand on. Mm -hmm. Which it, it's not a big deal, but just be careful. And if your <laughs> hand keeps falling off, don't worry about it. Just gotta be persistent, relentless. Um, he came with. Four other pair of hands. He's got two closed fists, which are a hard plastic. And then he has his open hand, which is uh, wireframe fingers, yeah. so you can bend them, pose them how you want. Bendy fingers. Bendy this, this fingers. This hand matches this hand, right? Yep. This is bendy on yep. this one. So, so he has two bendy hands. He's got the bendy weapon, weapon holding hands, and then two fists. Yeah. And the two closed fists, like I said, the, I mean, these are straight plastic cast these are these are heavy duty you could like throw that at someone and actually knock them out <laughs> throw a hulk fist <laughs> <laughs> just some guy walking down the street <clears throat> so these are all of his accessories we got the hammer the axe the four extra hands so it comes with six hands total six it's hands two total plus the four then you get two head sculpts yep two two pieces the extra back hair piece for the other head sculpt and then the helmet and then the helmet yep the helmet has so much detail on it. Like, you can see battle marks on it, like scrapes and all that type of stuff where the, the weathering on the helmet is. Uh, you can even see, like, the buckles on the back of the helmet where, like, uh, back then helmets weren't usually one full piece of, like, clipped together in the back, so you could move and there would be move or uh, shifting in the plates. Yeah, some kind of so you could or something have right some type of movement and you didn't have to move your entire body. Um, and the paint, the paint detail. I mean, there's... The little war paint that's on the top of the helmet across uh, the Hulk's face. He also has the war paint down his chest. It's it's so good. So good. And if you're not into collecting 1-6, go buy one anyway. And if you don't <laughs> like it, just send it to us. We'll take it off your hands. Um, I don't remember the price point on him. I think he was like... 270 274 Something like that. 275 um, That's not bad. No, this is seventy five for this giant figure. This is a I big mean, guy. The standard guys seem to be going for about two forty now. Mm -hmm. So thirty dollars more gets you a humongous figure, heavy duty Hulk. Yep. And uh, they did the same thing with this body that they had for like the Avengers and the Age of Ultron Hulk, which was they have this really large body. I mean, it's almost like a it's almost like a quarter scale body that they use, mm -hmm. and then they put this kind of like rubber skin over the top of it. Um, and they also have the ratchet system back in the arms, so okay. you can do that, and it just locks it into place, so you don't have to worry about the joints getting loose and falling down. Yeah. Um, it's also in the elbows. Oh, cool. <clears throat> and this is all one piece, right? There's not articulation yep. uh, or a uh, cut there? No. Okay. All that's... Uh, they do have the cuts in the knees, which... In the knees. They did have that in the Age of Ultron and the regular Hulk from Avengers, yeah. but you couldn't see it because the purple pants covered Ooh, it and yeah. the purple shorts covered it. Mm -hmm. Um... Not in the skirt. Not I'm, in the skirt edition. A lot of people said that it's really ugly. You really can't notice it. The knee cuts? Yeah. No, they're not They're not an issue at all. No. <laughs> you can even see like these little dark green veins all over his body. Yeah, um, you can, I noticed it when we were um, moving it around earlier that you can actually see like leg hair that's been painted on on his calf. <laughs> like just oh, yeah. the, the amount of detail that these guys put in is crazy. Yeah. Uh, Leg hair and chest hair. Honestly, I know it sounds like such a small deal. My biggest selling point for this was that I like figures with two head sculpts. Mm -hmm. I get two head sculpts. I, there's a thousand different ways for me to pose them that way because you can have 
them doing different things or interacting with other other figures that you might have. And I always wanted a Hulk that wasn't straight up screaming in your face. Just yelling. And then they announced that this one was going to have more of just like standard Hulk face where he's yeah, just kind of like... Not quite angry, yeah. <laughs> And uh, that was a huge selling point for me because I was like, I need that. A non-screaming Hulk. Well, most Hot Toys figures have like a neutral face. Mm -hmm. They're just... Everyone's just blank staring. They're not yeah. angry. They're not sad. So then you can pose them some way, but they're just... Yeah. Just dead fish. Or they go over the top like they did with the uh, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn where it's just... Yeah, always smiling. Oh, yeah, you can see it back there, just smiling away. Stuck. Um, this just came out easy. I was I was gonna ask if like the handle pops off or something to slide in, but nope. just just slides into his hand. Just slides right into his hand. Um, when you first get it, his hands might be a little tighter. So if if that is the case, I mean, you just kind of take it, you just kind of wiggle it in, just twist it, just like that, and it just slides in, <laughs> just like that. And, and then once it's, I mean, once the weapons it's, go in either hand. Yeah. Okay. And once it's in his hand, I mean, that thing's not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How is his articulation overall? Uh, uh, is he hindered in any way? Like, no, is, it, not is this shoulder piece? Okay, that's that's so, connected. That's actually connected to this. Yep, that's connected. Um, th like I said, the the fact that they did all of the armor actually being separate from the mold mm -hmm. helps with it. Yeah. Because I was worried about that too. I'm like, oh man, like he's got this huge plate. He's got this huge plate. He's got the gauntlet that goes all the way down to his hand. I was like, this whole arm probably isn't gonna move, and it moves just fine like the other arm does. You know, I mean, look at this big dumb animal, folks. So he's got his shoulder cuts that he's have got, ratchets, elbows yep. with ratchets. Yep. The neck and the head can pop off. Yep. Right for yep. the. The head sculpt, wrist cuts for the alternate hands. He's got. Does the, he have a mid torso? I don't think he has a torso. It looks like he's got. <laughs> yeah, he can roll there. But there's yeah. nothing like here. Nothing in his, no, his pectorals. No. no. Um, this they designed that cut in. I'm sure they used the, the old Hulk bodies. Yeah. You know, Hulk's not going to be getting any bigger <laughs> um, unless we see World Breaker Hulk. <laughs> but. Uh, I think they use the same inner body, and the reason that you have, I mean, yeah, you have this movement, which is nice, but there's actually a really large peg that connects him in here. Okay. Because the deluxe version of the Age of Ultron Hulk had the other torso. You could, pop on the torso. You could take off one of the torsos, and there was like the Hulk doing like the Hulk smash, which it was pretty cool, but not worth not worth another hundred bucks. Yes. It looks like he has a little shorts on there. Do those hinder his leg movement at all? Uh, he's got little leather shorts. No, not necessarily. Like I said, Hulk's not gonna be crouching down, get into a Spidey Man pose. Hulk is Spider Man. <laughs> but you also have the knee cuts, which allow him to have more movement. This guy does not come with a stand because his feet are his the feet size are of stands. a normal kid's <laughs> foot. Um, and he just kind of balances on his own, you know, as long as you don't have him in, in uh, some crazy pose. This guy is not going anywhere. You can literally shake the table. <sighs> He's not going anywhere. Souls. Let's see if there's any detail on there. Not really. It's kind of just flat. Are there? I was wondering if there'd be like... Uh, like worn rubber or something on the sole. Oh, I didn't even think about looking at that. Uh, yeah, figure has tons of details. Uh, even though he didn't come with as many crazy accessories as some Hot Toys does, he came with everything that you need the Hulk to come with. He came with fists, he, came with everything he has, he had he has open hands, he's got his helmet, you're good to go. I don't know what else he would have needed. Maybe just the towel for the later scene <laughs> he's in the bed. <laughs> you were naked. You were very <laughs> naked. Um, but no, uh, just another... Figure that Hot Toys just hit out of the park. Um, keep it up. Keep blasting them out. We'll keep buying them. We love them. We'll uh, straighten, out, straighten out his legs. Let's see how tall this how tall is big Bloody green meanie hole. is. Oh my. Oh my god. It's like 18 and a half inches, actually. It's a big figure. You big guy. And, uh, yeah, like I said, the fact that they kept the, the torso cut in here also for him to move like that mm -hmm. is nice because that way he's not always just standing facing forward. Like, that's something that really bothers me is when 
<clears throat> just don't do it, folks. If you're if you're setting up your hot toys or your one six collectibles and you you're trying to pose them in a cool pose, don't just do that and call it a day. <laughs> it doesn't look. You good. can do better than that. We believe in you. <laughs> it doesn't look good, and don't take pictures with flash on. Um. No, get him in. Get him in his iconic crouch, scream, have him yelling in your face, or holding somebody up. Like I think right now, my Age of Ultron Hulk, I have him pose like hunched down with both his arms around, and then I have the Bruce Banner hot toy like holding his head, <laughs> and like just that way someone sees it and they're like, "My God, it's Hulk and Bruce Banner." Do it. Yep. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, check it out. Make sure to check out our Gladiator Thor. Uh, review that we have posted as well and let us know what you guys think if you want us to review something give us a shout uh, Follow us on Facebook Twitter Instagram all that junk. Yep. We're on it. Stay up to the latest news We got all the reviews on there. Keep you updated Thanks for watching catch you on the next one ah!